Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you all for coming out today. The most important thing we're doing today is not electing myself or Tucker. It's renominating our great Congressman Virgil Goode to serve as again in the U.S. House. very brief. Um, I want to give you a quote from something President Reagan said one time. And a lot of my remarks have been stolen from me already by the Lieutenant Governor, Delegate Frederick, and others, so I'm, I'm sure they saw my speech somehow. He said, freedom is the right to question and change the established way of doing things. And I, I think, along with President Reagan, we must challenge and we must change the established way of doing things from time to time. The established way of doing things in the Republican Party is losing elections for us right now. The established way of doing things has become all about power, titles, political gain, and top-down government. <coughs> President Reagan, again, I quote, he said, Concentrated power has always been the enemy of liberty. The established way of doing things has discouraged participation of members of our party who put principle over politics from time to time. Folks, it is our principles that separate us from the Democrats. Without those principles, we are simply carbon copies of them. We are Republicans because of our principles, not simply because we like an R better than a D and an elephant better than a donkey. It's time for change. Thank you. I believe I have a passion for freedom itself that can be harnessed in energy for the 5th District of Virginia. I'm a Reagan conservative who believes in the supremacy of the Constitution, which states that our country is to be a government. Our government is to be one of the people, by the people, and for the people. It's all about grassroots and bottom-up politics, folks. I want to bring about leadership that will invigorate and expand the grassroots participation in this district and unite a fire in our party that will burn the Democrats right out of the 5th District of Virginia. I've had 15 years of experience with the nuts and bolts of grassroots in Campbell County where I've been vice chairman for several years and supervisor and district representative for years before that. Um, we, we produced in Campbell on a regular basis some of the largest percentages for Republican candidates in the entire state as well as the marriage amendment in which Roger Pogue told us we had the best sign coverage for the marriage amendment of any county in the state of Virginia. It's that, that we must bring to bear not only for Virgil but for other Republican candidates in our district. And working closely with Senator Newman and Delegate Byron, who, um, who wrote, recently wrote a letter of support for me, you saw that if you got the piece we'll hand out today. Throughout their political careers, I have learned that principled conservative candidates and committed grassroots efforts produce a lethal <coughs> combination that translates into election victories. In Campbell County, all of our constitutional officers are now Republicans. All but one of the Board of Supervisors are Republicans, and the Democrat is one of the most conservative. I've been honored by the pivotal role that Delegate Byron and Supervisor Steve Schock have both have allowed me to plan all of their campaigns for elective office, and it's a privilege to be able to serve with them. The most important ingredient for success, I believe, is principal Republican candidates for elective office who truly reflect our values, not only when they campaign, but also when they cast their votes in the General Assembly. President Reagan, I quote again, he said, Governments have a tendency not to solve problems, only to rearrange them. We have got to commit, our, to commit ourselves as a party to fielding candidates for office who understand the proper constitutional role of government. I have a 10-point plan that I handed out today. I wish I could go over some of these points with you, but in the interest of time, I better not so that uh, Policeman Boyle doesn't drag me off the stage. <laughs> um, well, I, I just want to close by, by quoting President Reagan one time again. He said, man is not free unless government is limited. Folks, there's nothing special about me or I'm just one of a crowd, but I believe that I am one in the crowd who believes in freedom and liberty so much that I'm not willing to just sit back and allow unprincipled and power-hungry politicians to govern us. It would have, like Jeff said, it would have been easier to stay at home in comfortable Campbell County. But I, like Jeff, I've got two little kids, an almost four-year-old, almost two-year-old, and I want them to grow up in the same Virginia and the same United States of America that I had the distinct privilege of growing up in. Um, one more quote from President Reagan, if you can't tell, I admire him. He said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We did not pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. Folks, we must leave a legacy of principled, conservative, Republican governments for our children to enjoy the same way that we have. We've all got to do our part here in the fifth. I believe that I can do my part as your 5th District Chairman, I promise you that I will serve you faithfully if you give me this privilege of serving as a statesman, as a friend, to the very best of my ability. Thank you very much, folks, and God bless America, Virginia, and the 5th District, and Virgil Good, let's send them back on.